Omada Mesh enables wireless connectivity between TP-Link Omada wireless products for extended range without additional cables, making wireless deployment more flexible and convenient. Traditionally, if you want Wi-Fi to cover your space indoors and outdoors, you have to connect all the access points to the main router or a PoE switch via Ethernet cables, which is time-consuming. In some hard-to-wire areas, maintaining a cable connection is even impractical. With Omada Mesh, you can connect APs effortlessly via wireless connection, regardless of where they are relative to the main router or PoE switch. Here's a diagram of a typical network. In controller mode, Omada EAPs can be configured to enable the mesh feature to establish a mesh network. Only one access point, the root AP, is connected via an Ethernet cable, while other EAPs can be connected wirelessly to provide users with seamless Wi-Fi services. In order to understand how to use mesh and the key aspects to focus on, we will introduce certain terminology within the controller. The root AP is the AP connected to the network via wired connection. A mesh AP is an EAP with a wireless uplink. An uplink AP is an AP that offers wireless uplink for other access points. A downlink AP is a mesh access point that connects to an uplink AP. Each uplink AP can connect to up to four downlink APs. A hop is the relative distance between a mesh AP and the root AP. There should be no more than three hops. After all the APs are adopted by the controller, a mesh network is established. The APs connected to the network wirelessly can also broadcast SSIDs and relay network traffic to and from the network through an uplink AP. Follow the topology to connect the devices and make sure an Omada controller is configured in the network. Launch the controller and select a site from the drop-down list of organization. Go to Settings, Site to make sure Mesh is enabled. Auto Failover is used for the controller to automatically maintain the Mesh network. With this feature enabled, the controller can automatically select a new wireless AP when the original uplink fails. Go to Devices and adopt the root AP. The status of the root AP should be Connected. Power on a second EAP. Make sure the intended location is within the range of the root access point. Wait for the EAP to start up. It will take about two minutes to be discovered and show up in the controller's device list. The EAP will be in the pending wireless state. Click the Adopt icon to select the Uplink AP for adoption. For Mesh APs, the recommended signal of the Uplink AP is between negative 40 decibel milliwatts and negative 62 decibel milliwatts. After adoption begins, the AAP in the pending wireless state will become Adopting Wireless and then Connected Wireless. It should take a roughly two minutes to show up as Connected Wireless in your controller. If you want to set up a small mesh network, such as using less than three EAPs, you can also directly use the Omada app to build a mesh network without configuring an Omada controller in the network. Once the Omada mesh network has been established, the mesh EAP can be managed by the controller in the same way as a wired EAP. You can click the EAP's name in the device list and click Mesh to check the mesh parameters of the EAP. Click the Uplink AP, click Mesh, and you'll see all downlink APs connected to the AP. Click a downlink AP, click Mesh, and you'll see all available uplink APs in their channel, signal strength, hop, and the number of downlink APs. When using multiple EAPs to establish an Omada Mesh network, you will find other available uplink APs in the Properties window. You can manually select the priority uplink AP that you want to connect in the uplink AP list. To build a mesh network with better performance, it's recommended to select the uplink AP with the strongest signal, least hops, and least downlink APs.